Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, Thunderbirds are go as I restore this Matchbox Thunderbirds Rolls Royce or Fab One. These were produced in 1982 for the Thunderbirds TV show and then again in 1992. I grew up watching a lot of Jerry Anderson's television series, Thunderbirds, Stingray, Terrorhawks, and many others. The model making was always amazing on them. I'm sure it must have inspired many of us during playtime. So let's take a look at this fan one off the turntable. It's in a pretty play worn shape. A lot of the paint is worn away. The bumper is broken at the front. The chrome is missing from the base and the wheels. And the windscreen is very yellowed. It's not a particularly high quality matchbox toy. I think they were sparing every expense on this one. The first step is to drill out the rivets and take the car apart. Before I do anything else, I'm going to try to get rid of the yellow on the windscreen. It is placed inside a snap lock bag and then I pour in some hydrogen peroxide. The air is squeezed out and the bag is sealed up. And this is placed out in the sun for a couple of days. After mixing up some pink paint to match the colour of the car, I use some poly stripper to strip the casting. With the paint removed, I give it a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool, removing any oxidation and remaining paint. The body is then given a couple of coats of the pink paint that I mixed earlier. I detail the headlights with Tamiya Chrome Silver. Next to remove the chrome from the base. I place it in a jar of hot water from the tap and then add a spoonful of caustic soda. After just a few seconds you can see the chrome starting to come off and float to the top. I now need to replace the broken bumper. I make a little template and then cut some pieces out of some styrene sheet. 
these are then glued onto the base. I next build up the repair with some Tami and Putty. This is left overnight until it is well cured. I now use files and sandpaper to tidy up and shape the repair. After a little while of patient work, it is looking pretty good. There's still a few pits, so I apply a little bit more Tami Putty to fill them up. Once this had cured, I repeated the sanding and filing process until I was happy. I then gave the base a coat of black. Followed by a couple of coats of Vallejo Metal Color Chrome. Here are some little decals that I've printed to replace the missing license plates. F.A.B. Virgil After these are dried I apply a small amount of Microsol. This just softens the decals and allows them to conform to the shape of whatever they are on better. The interior was in great shape and just needed a wash. The wheels are a bit rough but not too bad. I just re-chrome the rims. I then gave them a dip in some self-shining floor polish just to help shine them up a bit. And here is our windscreen after a couple of days. It's definitely looking a lot clearer.
It's a bit scratched and pitted, so I give it a light sand with some 1200 grit sandpaper. I then give it a polish. That's looking a lot better than when I started. To finish, I detail in the window frames in pink. And here are all our parts, refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. Before we take a look at our finished restoration, let's take a moment to look back at what we started with. Our worn out old Fab 1 is more of a drab one with its chipped paint, yellow windscreen and missing chrome. I can't imagine Lady Penelope's going to be too impressed with the state of this diecast disaster. And here it is, our Matchbox Thunderbirds Fab 1 Rolls Royce Restored. It has a nice new pink paint job, fresh chrome on the base and wheels. The windscreen is looking a lot clearer. The missing bumper has been repaired and even the license plates have been replaced. Parker, well done. While we take a look at some photos of the Fab One parked up outside Creighton Ward Manor, I'll just take a moment to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a big thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. I've just hit 25k subs this week. I never thought the channel would grow this fast. So I hope you're all enjoying the content. I try to mix it up a bit and do sort of something for everyone. And yeah, thanks for subscribing. And an extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. Here they are scrolling up the screen. I've just uploaded a special unboxing video that's just for the patrons so if you want to see that you can go and check out my patreon page and become a supporter there'll be a link in the description below thanks heaps for watching if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe